Europe 2013. Emissions are down on paper, but pollution is rising. The concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has reached 400 parts per million. Oil and gas extraction is still ongoing, and shale gas has become a threat in many countries. Projects to build more gas pipelines, regasification units, and gas deposits keep cropping up, threatening to increase global pollution. What is more, the economic crisis keeps getting worse. We need a superhero to save Europe from impending disaster. Carbon credit? Where is carbon credit? So, Europe, you really think some kind of superhero named Carbon Credit will suddenly appear and put everything right? You do realize you're 58 now. Do you have a recurrent dream? Hmm, this is clearly a case of arrested development. You think you're growing, but... Now then. It's important to understand what happened, events that occurred to you, choices you made. What did you used to play with before Carbon Credit? All of them broke pretty soon. Hmm, was it only a coincidence? Maybe this shows it was wrong to turn to the market for a solution because, in fact, the problem was the market itself. It looks to the short term and exploits governments and the public sector to the advantage of private stakeholders such as banks, investment funds, and private equity funds. Its obsessive quest for new private assets to expand capital markets just adds to the problem instead of solving it. It triggers a repetition, compulsion driven towards self-destruction which seems to go on forever in a cycle of crisis and hope, crisis and hope, crisis and hope. Everybody is free to do what they want, sure. But they have to be aware of the consequences. While crises are actually indispensable in our current economic system, the same is not true for nature. Unlike the market, nature is not limitless. Much of the damage that has already been done is worse than serious. It is irreversible. Natural resources are running out and Europe has started to cause itself the environmental damage previously done to the south of the world. What is more, even though stock exchange indexes look like a video game, millions of people are actually suffering because of the economic situation. In Europe, the rich-poor gap is growing wider, the quality of life is worsening, and whole nations risk falling into despair. Your conduct is wrong, Europe. Not only are you causing environmental damage, you are also bringing about human rights violations in many countries of the global south, and even in some of your neighboring countries. The time has come for the peoples of these countries to decide for themselves on their own future and on how to use their own resources after years of relentless exploitation. By the way, this is the result of your neuroses. Do you want to change? And how do you plan to go about it? First, you should stop thinking that your old tricks always work. Stop believing in miraculous, painless solutions like carbon credit and green economy. If you want to change your course, there are no win-win outcomes. You'll have to make some important choices, which will generate conflict and will cause some groups to lose some of their advantages. That's the only way to really grow up. Above all, Europe, you must change your way of life radically. Replacing petrol with biofuels or plans to store emissions underground are pure delusion. You'll have to slow down, which will make you consume much less. The time has come to face up to your responsibilities and incorporate your past into a more sustainable and fairer present. Most importantly, Europe, you'll have to control markets and not be controlled by them. Hey, that's your hand.